What's going on with YouTube? This is Crazy Samurai 71 here for another video. Today I'm bringing you another video on Power Rangers Ninja Steel. Now I just posted a video the other day, very late last night, on the episode 5 preview. Today I'm posting a video on something else, something, something regarding episodes for the show, but something kind of important that I wanted to just mention that I hadn't kind of done for summaries of episodes 7 and 8. Now I've already done summaries for episodes 1 through 6 a while back, but they have the summaries up and they also have other information that was kind of important just because you may want to know about it, which is the fact that they're doing a double header um, on the 18th of March. Now you may think to yourself, what is a double header first of all and 18th of March, so why, why is that special? Okay, double header basically means it's going to show two episodes during that weekend. So on that Saturday, rather than just having an episode that will air at 12, that will go to 12.30 and then be done, like what we usually get, it's going to go 12 to 12.30 and then 12.30 to 1. Um, so that's nice. And the reason why that is, for those that are curious as to why they're deciding to do a doubleheader that week, is it just because they want to end the, the uh, spring half of the season um, in a bigger way? Sort of. What it really has to, I mean, it is, but what it has to do with is the fact that the movie's coming out the following week. So because of that, they decided that they want to release two episodes in one week rather than the typical one episode a week like they tend to do. So what that also means is that episode six, which is the episode that's coming out next week, not the one that's coming out this weekend here, um, will be airing on the 3rd of March, obviously, but there won't be an episode on the 10th of March, so be aware of that that will be that's the episode that would have been episode seven but instead seven and eight are going to be releasing march 18th together which is going to be very cool to see and i actually will be home so i will be able to uh actually do a review of those episodes when they're airing like as soon as they air i should be able to do reviews which is really nice um because i'll be home um, way in advance from them, because I'm still at school, obviously, so just be aware. But yeah, so I thought I might as well give you guys summaries of both of them, since that's kind of important, obviously, and give you my thoughts on them. Um, episode 7 is called Hack Attack. Hack Attack, the description says, Determined to take part in as many student activities as she can, Sarah builds a device that allows her to clone herself, but the plan backfires when Galvanox monster uh, steals the, techno the technology for himself so in other words he is going to steal some s the technology that she uses to clone herself um, on a monster so then it says episode 8 both the Power Rangers and Galvanox attempt to find more information about um, the new mysterious Gold Ranger by the way I forgot to say episode title for episode 8 is Gold, is gold Rush for, for Gold Ranger, sorry, Gold Ranger episode, um, yes. The episode's called Gold Rush. I don't know why I was saying, yes. So anyway, the idea is is that, if, is that both the Rangers and Galvanox are trying to find out more information about the mysterious Gold Ranger. Basically implying that episode 7 should be the episode where we'll probably see the Gold Ranger, but we won't know anything else uh, as far as, like, who he is. So in other words, what they're saying here is that the Gold Ranger will have already been introduced, meaning that Episode 7 will probably show some sort of end bit where we'll see the Gold Ranger being seen, maybe joining the battle, but not necessarily siding with the Rangers. So what happens is, is that they're trying to figure out more information about the mysterious Gold Ranger that they're referring to. That's interesting to note, though. Uh, obviously, you would assume Episode 7 would be focused on Sarah due to the fact that, um, so far, We've had focus episodes on Brody, Preston, we're getting Calvin this week, um, and we're getting Haley the following week, and then after that, we need Sarah. So I guess the very end, or at some point, we'll see the Gold Ranger, which will be very cool. Um, personally, overall, uh, episode 7 sounds cool, makes a lot of sense, she seems like she's very smart, she seems like she would be someone who would develop technology to do that kind of stuff where she would be able to multiply herself um, so that she could perform several tasks and become, you know, uh, 
an amazing student or whatever, um, which makes a lot of sense. Um, I can't necessarily, I can't right now think of which monster it is probably referring to, but I, I have a feeling I, I probably know which monster it's referring to um, for the one that will be uh, multiplied as well. Um, I don't know if that means that they're gonna possibly use like ninja skills that will allow her to rely on all of her clones, which could happen, but I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I'd be very curious to see how that will work out. I mean, she's very smart, obviously. She is your Billy or your, uh, I don't know, Cam or any of those kind of characters that were very, very witty uh, and had, were technologically savvy. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, episode 8 obviously sounds like it's one that's going to lead up to the Gold Ranger really being shown off and we get to see maybe full display of his fight, of him fighting, maybe see his Zord, nothing for sure, don't hold me to that, but we'll see what happens. He will in some way obviously show up, um, if they do it based off of how they did it in the Sentai, it will, which is the Japanese show. It might be very. It might be that he'll be shown, but he won't join the team, which is what the Japanese show did, which is that he didn't instantly like just join the team. He just kind of started showing up in the same places that they showed up in, and then eventually he joined the team. And there's usually some sort of situation that leads the that uh, like leads him to do that, and that happens with mo with a lot of special rangers that they don't necessarily start off that way and then they'll join. Although there are obviously exceptions. Um, but anyway, that is what episode 7 and 8 are going to be talking about, and that is something to look forward to fairly soon. Um, March is just around the corner, and the movie will follow shortly after that, which is a great way to have all that going on. And then the summer hiatus of the show will happen, but the movie will start gaining its success, and hopefully other things will spawn off off of the movie and off of the success of the show p potentially and maybe we'll see some other stuff happen over the course of time there's also the, vi the uh phone game that's coming out fairly soon which we've gotten more and more information about and it's looking very cool and it's gonna have online multiplayer aspects to it lots of characters like 40 plus characters supposedly and they're potentially going to expand to several several more they're also going to be able to add like upgrade systems and other things like that and it's supposed to be a really cool game it sounds like so i'm personally looking forward to that and i'm looking forward to seeing these episodes when they air and then we won't see episodes again till probably around august of this year which is crazy to think now because we're only in february and august is what like six months away practically i mean it's not around the corner, obviously, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I am definitely looking forward to seeing how things will pan out um, in the next couple of episodes and also when we get past the summer hiatus period. So anyway, guys, I'd love to know your guys' opinions on all of this and more in the comments below. Um, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. So bye, guys.